So who's ready for my first project of the year? So today, folks, we will be attempting to customize my PlayStation 5. Now, as always, I have no idea how this is gonna go. I've not seen this one before, so I thought I would give it a bash. Now, I love my PlayStation, and I've had them since I was little. I've had PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. I've still got my 4, actually. And they're all great consoles. I know there's that divide of Xbox or PlayStation. <laughs> I've only had an Xbox once, but I went back to my PlayStation. Now, this design is pretty cool, but... I just kind of look at it and think it's just a bit boring. I mean, it's just plain white. So you know me. <laughs> I mean, there's got to be a way that we can customise this to make it look just that little bit cooler. Now, I haven't attempted this yet, but I'm told that you can remove these two sides. But before we start, I just want to let all of you know, if you receive a reply to a comment, that you posted on my YouTube channel that looks like it's from me with my picture on it, asking you to go to WhatsApp or Telegram, telling you that you've won a prize. Unfortunately, folks, it's not me, and it is actually a scammer. Please be careful. Oh. Ha -ha. <laughs> I did it. There we go, that just pops off there, loads of little clips in there, plastic clips that obviously just clip it in. Um, and you can see it's got, it's not straight, this thing, it's kind of wavy. So I'm thinking of trying to make a new set of these. So yeah, that's gonna be, that's gonna be difficult, isn't it? <laughs> Try and make a wavy panel. Right folks, so here's our PlayStation 5 panels. Obviously, as you can see, they're not they're not straight, they're curvy, wavy. But obviously that goes in line with the PlayStation. So we're gonna have to try and make some curvy panels. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> so there's our first layer. Now I put that in there because, well, if I put this straight in and it hits the bottom, bottom. <laughs> and then I need a bit of a buffer basically. So this is now dried up. So it's just giving me that little base in there. So I'm gonna mix up some more uh, silicone rubber and this is the stuff that I'm using here. You've seen this before, pretty cool stuff. We sell this on the Make Central shop and if you're a member, you get this cheaper. Right, so just put some weight on it so it pushes it down. And I know it's not gonna go all the way through because we've got that little base layer in there, so it should be fairly safe. We'll see, we'll see what happens in the morning. <laughs> Hopefully it's gonna be all right. This video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. This is completely free to play with more than 650 champs to collect from different factions. But my favourite is Slive and Watches. They made their home in the Mistwar huge jungle in the east of Tellera. But don't expect to walk in the park if you try to visit the Slive and Watches. Here are my favourite champs, King Kalgabor and Naya. But Raid has something special this month. Between now and February the 10th, Raid is hosting a special championship elect event where you get to vote on your favourite starter champion. To all new raid players, all you have to do is copy your in-game player ID, then go to championselect.plarium.com. 
participate to win awesome prizes, in-game items, including epic and legendary champions, and Amazon gift cards. Existing raid players can still get involved. Just head to championselect.plarium.com where you can find a special promo code that everyone can use for a small in-game gift. And if you haven't started playing raid yet, just click on my link in the description or scan my QR code here on the screen. You'll get unique bonuses worth 35 bucks. We're talking a free epic champion, Connoru, 100k silver, 50 gems, and two epic skill tombs. Cheers, Raid. So this has been leftover night, folks. Well, two, actually. I get waylaid. Let's see if we can get this puppy out. Look at this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, but obviously, we're going to take this out of here anyway, so I'm going to cut this out um, to try and get access to our, to our uh, cover. <laughs> Look at this folks, how cool is this? So we've got a little PlayStation logo in there. It's not created it, it's not created it brilliantly as you can see, but you can always just try to make a new one and put that on the outside of our, of our case. Uh, so we've got our little indentations for our clips that have been created in there. And this is the inside obviously of the case, this bit, so um, you know, you're not going to see too much of this anyway, so it doesn't matter what it looks like on the inside, it's just the outside. So obviously, what we're going to try and do now is try and knock up something really cool in resin-wise and try and get that poured in and make that look really, really cool. Um, and what I'm thinking about using with this are these. So! I reckon that we try to use some of these um, and they're alcohol inks basically. These are apparently supposed to be the best ones that you can get. Uh, Pinatra? Pinatra? <laughs> can't say it because I can't really read it very well. Um, but I'll leave a link below for these to where to get these on. But apparently these are the best ones to use for doing alcohol ink. Uh, alcohol, alcohol ink. Al <laughs> how? Alcohol, why can't I say that? Alcohol ink <laughs> um, projects. So we're gonna give this a bash. And obviously, you know, because we've now got our mold, and obviously it's only one side I know, but we could, because we've got this mold, if it doesn't work out right, we can just pull that one out and do another one. So yeah, let's do this. I don't know, I think I may have put too much in here now. I've just been sort of a bit carried away, but I don't know, it looks all right, it looks, looks okay. It just depends on what it sets like. It might just set like a big black blob, <laughs> which will be interesting to see. So uh, yeah, stay with me folks, and let's see how this turns out in the morning. <laughs> so what I did there folks, I was just finishing up and just about to close the door. And what I've done is I just did a bit of swirling. I just got this little needle thing. <laughs> And I just swirled it all around like that. Swirl, 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 swirl. All over the whole lot. And that's kind of what come out. It looks quite cool, doesn't it? I like that now. So hopefully if that stays like that, that's going to look pretty neat. <laughs> it's whether or not it stays like that or not, isn't it really? Because it will change overnight. I'm, I'm sure it will. But I'm loving this, this like gold in there as well. It looks brilliant. But um, I've got this elevated a little bit because <clears throat> there's not much 
in this side, but we can always put a layer of resin on top after we've after this is dry, um, if we if we need to. But that looks quite smart, I think. If this works out, I don't know. Um, obviously, there's no kind of like resin colours in the edges. Um, there might be. I don't know. It depends. <laughs> it depends on how it all goes and gets set, doesn't it? Really. So let's just we leave that now and come back in the morning. But yeah, I just thought I wanted to show you that, folks, because you'll be thinking, that oh, didn't look like that earlier on. <laughs> but yeah, just did a little swirly whirly. Two days later. Okay, folks, so just come back in. Um, I was kind of really curious just to see what had happened uh, if it had kind of turned into this big black blob or something. But actually, it does look quite cool. Let's take a look. So this is what we have, folks, so far. That is that is pretty cool, actually. My kind of swirls and things that I put in it have like disappeared, but I suppose it's kind of just mixed in, you know, all around, and it's just sort of done its thing, really. It's not set yet. It takes a little bit longer to set, but that does look pretty neat. But I'm a bit worried in the sense that I don't think that all the resin has gone all the way in to uh, the edges. So what we might have to do is cut out the edges here when this is fully dry, all the way around really tight, and then pour another layer of resin in. Um, so we'll have to leave that for another, another day or so. But in the meantime, this is now dried up, folks. Lovely jubbly. So I'm ready to stick in our next panel. Uh, this one should be quite nice and easy, so I'm going to get that in this this way. Um, actually, that's going to... Hmm. Look at that. That's going to be quite high up, actually, isn't it? If anything, it might need to be a little bit taller. But, well, I'll have to sort that. But uh, let's crack on with this one. We made a little resin whale, eh? Look at that. Right folks, I've gone absolutely crazy with this now. I've literally kind of scrapped the old layer that we had there and I've just poured loads more resin on top because it's still I still couldn't kind of get the match going on. So, so I've just chucked a load more on there, a load more of these all over it. <laughs> Probably don't need that much, but I just kind of wanted a bit more of a cooler pattern. Now I'm kind of thinking this is gonna come out completely different in the morning, but we just have to wait and see. So, but it does look quite cool, I like it. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say about that. <laughs> Let's wait until the morning. So, folks, oh no, here we go, here we go. This is dried up and, ah. Oh, it's okay, but it's not quite what we had before. And obviously all the colors and all the gold effects have all gone in, rushed into the middle. And although it kind of looks, you know, it's got its own little kind of cool feature. Ugh, I'm just not happy with it really. It just doesn't really look. I mean, if that had been like all over here, then yeah, I think that would look really, really cool. It's all right, don't get me wrong, it's all right, but obviously, don't forget, I've got to try and make another one of these and it's kind of, it's kind of got to be similar, otherwise it's going to look silly. Um, and obviously we've got this edge as well still around here where we didn't get quite in the gaps that we wanted to get in before. So, oh. <laughs> so what I'm thinking about doing at the moment, folks, is I'm thinking about peeling this out of here and starting again. I know what you're thinking. 
<laughs> but I've got to try and do it again, I think, because I've still got the other one to do, which is still in the mould. I've got to take that out of the mould yet. Um, and I think that we can get a better result. I'm hoping we can get a better result. So it's a little bit more resin, obviously, a bit of more kind of alcohol ink. But I like playing around with this, actually. It is quite cool. And I think I'll do some more projects around this alcohol ink. Um, idea Alco alcohol ink <laughs> um so yeah bear with me i'm gonna strip this one out and start again you're what the french call les incompetents what i could probably use this for something else actually i reckon i could clean that up you know around the edges and maybe we could use that in another project of some kind i reckon that's quite cool Now I've made this a lot thinner because the last one we did, as you can see up there, is very, very thick. It doesn't need to be that thick. Um, and I've also, with this one, is I've let the resin uh, cure in the cup for about an hour and a half before I poured it in here. So it's kind of a lot thicker. It's almost ready to, to kind of cure. Uh, and that kind of lets, which I was a bit impatient on last time, I didn't let it cure for long enough before I put all the the colours in so that kind of hopefully lets the colours stay where they are and not end up kind of like falling into the middle like they did last time so so I made this quite thin and also I've got to try and manipulate this because it's a very odd shape it's not like it's a flat surface it, it goes <laughs> it like waves so it's really quite tricky to get the resin in in the right places because it's not sitting up here very well so I've sort of lent it lent it leant it or <laughs> whatever the word is I've leaned it over slightly so it sort of hangs over so that the resin will, will sort of drop over a little bit. We can always manipulate the piece because it is quite thin. We can always manipulate it once it's sort of almost cured um, to bring it, you know, to get it to fit the, the, uh, the PlayStation case. So let's hope that this one works out all right, folks. I'm going to leave this overnight. It may change a lot from what you see now, but yeah. We'll have to wait and see. But wish me luck again. Two days later. So it's turned out kind of cool all around here. This is quite good. It's all set now. Lovely jubbly. Probably needs a couple more days to go real sort of solid, but that looks really good. All looking really good. Oh. <laughs> so, and up here as well. So the resin, I didn't have it on a lean enough to bring it up here. I mean, it, it kind of looks sort of cool in that some sort of respects, but, and I kind of would leave it, but because obviously what I've got to try and do now is put a tiny amount of resin in there to try to just seal it up. Try to kind of blend it in with what we've got. I don't know if I could do that or, or I don't know whether or not we could just leave it and just have it as just that, I don't know. I'm in two minds as always, but it does look kind of cool. I do really like it. I just don't want to mess it up now. Right, enough waffling. Let's get a crack in. So this has been left now 
for, I don't know, a couple of days, I think. And I think it's all set. So we've got two on the go. This is our second attempt on this one. <laughs> and it's set now. I've just had a little touch and it looks pretty cool. Feels cool. I think this one is gonna be a success. <laughs> At least I hope it is. But let's unpeel it and find out. It's looking good, looking good. So, and it's not as thick this time, uh, which is what we wanted. So I'm just gonna peel this. So we may be able to still manipulate the, the actual cover, but I mean, that looks pretty cool. Look at that. I mean, look at the, cause it's quite, I didn't go so thick. You can see through it as well. That <laughs> looks wicked. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Peeling it out of this. You, just, you can just hear it peeling out. And look at it in there, look. So, oh yes. Yeah. <laughs> look at this. Yes, yeah, second time around. That's looking pretty cool. So we've got a little bit of sort of tighten up to do around the edges, that's fine, that won't, that won't be a problem. We'll get those kind of like just cleaned up. And then we've got our, look at the back of that. That looks really cool. I think the back <laughs> looks just as good as the other side. So we've got our little clips in here. So again, a little bit of messing about, we should be able to get those to clip in, in the actual PlayStation. I'm not gonna fit these on yet. I'll do a test fit myself, but I'll wait for the final result. Now I think that is a wrap. I wanted to come out with something just a little bit special. So I do hope you like it. Yes, it's still freezing over here in the UK, but we wouldn't expect anything less. Folks, as always, please, if you did like this one, if you could give it a thumbs up and a share, 
that would be absolutely amazing and hopefully kick me off this year to that start that I need to get to that one million subscribers. Just a quick one for those of you that are waiting on the new how to app. I do apologize, it is coming out. I know I keep on saying it is, but it is, so please bear with us. Obviously it's a new app, and if you're using the current Maker Central app, there are a few bugs in it, there are a few things that are a little bit annoying, but please bear with us, this new how to update is coming very, very soon. And I really do think you're gonna love it. For those of you that don't know, please check out the Maker Central app on the App Store and Google Store. If you could download it now, you can create yourself an account and then just wait for this update to come. It's gonna be insane. As always, I'm still on Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram, please check me out, Nick Zametti. And also I have a personal Instagram if you wanna follow me and see what I get up to when I'm not in the workshop. You can. I really do love this, I really do. I think it actually turned out pretty cool. Um, I'm gonna keep this in my games room and do away with the tacky white ones it came with. Shame this video wasn't sponsored by PlayStation. Hey, PlayStation if you're watching, I could always make another one. Don't forget folks, also Maker Central is coming up and it is a couple of months away, three months away, I'm gonna be at the show. We've got some new faces coming, so check out the website. I'll leave a link below where you can grab tickets and see what's happening. This will be our fourth Maker Central. Come and join us, it's absolutely epic weekend. Let me know in the comments what you think of this video and also remember, I don't give away prizes and I won't ask you to go to WhatsApp or Telegram. Thanks for watching folks, take care, have an absolutely fabulous weekend, whatever you're doing. Thank you for your inspiration and all your kind words to keep me doing what I'm doing. I will continue, I just need to think of better projects. And hopefully, this is one of them. A big thanks to all my Patreons and members of this channel. Thank you so much for supporting me and helping me do what I do. I'll be back soon folks, take care.